Hey everyone, it's Joshua here at JTV Stays. Today I'm going to run through what exactly is serviced accommodation. Now, on my channel you'll hear me talk about serviced accommodation a lot because that's what our business is involved in. So I want to do a really short video today to run you through exactly what that is and what does the words mean. So, short term rental, otherwise known as serviced accommodation, is where you take a property and you rent it out for usually anywhere between one, maybe two to 30 days. So rather than taking a normal tenant and using your property as a buy to let on maybe a six month contract or even a year's contract, you're gonna actually use your property for short stays. Now, to do this, you've gotta provide a service. This is serviced accommodation. And that service that you provide is very similar to the service which a hotel provides. So you've got to take your property, you've got to fully furnish it, which you wouldn't normally do on a regular tenant, you just give it to them empty. So you've got to fully furnish the property, you've got to put everything in there that a guest would need, such as knives, forks, all the sofas, the beds, you've got to put the linen in there and make sure that linen is fresh and that it's changed over between every guest. And you've also got to give them the little things like the teas, the coffees, the soap, and the toilet roll as well. So it's a little bit different. It's, it's more expensive to provide this service. You've also got to provide things like the bills. So you've got to provide the gas, the electric, the water, you've got to pay for the council tax, and you've also got to make sure that you've got really good Wi-Fi in that property as well. So is it worth it? Yes, it is. You do get to charge more as a, as a nightly rate, which means you get more on a monthly basis than you would on a regular AST with a normal tenant. And I do other videos going into this more, so make sure you look back at my other videos on the channel for whether it's worth it or not. Now, how easy is it to get started in this? Is it as easy as just maybe uploading your property on Airbnb? Well, not quite. It's not very complicated, but there is a few rules and regulations that you do need to follow. I'll do another video on this because it is a little bit, there's quite a few rules and regulations, but you've got to have things like the correct insurance, you've got to be registered with some associations to rent it out as service accommodation, and you've got to make sure that you are compliant with your property. So you've got to have things like fire tests and risk assessments. But again, I'll go into more depth on another video. And another thing you've got to consider with service accommodation is, do you want to run it yourself or do you want someone to run it for you? Now, both are fine, it's just your choice. If you get someone to manage it for you, you will have to pay them a fee for doing that. But often, if they are a good manager, they will earn you more money from your property, even with their fee, than you would be able to do yourself. So that's service accommodation in a nutshell. I know it's been a very quick video. So if you'd like to look at more information, make sure that you look more onto our channel and look back at the videos we've done before and make sure you subscribe to look out for future videos. And if you are looking to get involved in service accommodation or you do want some more information, make sure that you hit the link below, head to our website and book a call with me personally, and I'll be able to run through how we can help manage your service accommodation property. Thank you.